What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So today we're going to talk about creating a face me component using an image. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So today we're going to walk through creating your first 2D face me component. Basically creating a tree um, out of a two-dimensional image that always faces the camera. So in this case, if you look at the default model in SketchUp, if you notice it's a two-dimensional image, and what happens is whenever you rotate your camera like this, you can see how it always faces you. Um, and that's because it's set as a face me component. So you can see how no matter where I rotate, it always faces towards my camera. And that's an option that you can turn on when you create the component. So I'm gonna walk you through how to do that with an image real quick. So I've downloaded an image from a website. I just kind of looked for an image of a tree with like a transparent background. Now I'm gonna import it into SketchUp. And so to do that, I'm just gonna go up to file and I'm gonna click import. So when I click import, it's gonna pop up this window and I'm gonna to navigate to the folder that has my image in it. So I'm gonna select this tree image that I downloaded and I'm gonna look in here and I'm gonna click the use image as image button. So make sure texture or new max matched photo is not selected, just image is selected. So I'm gonna select that file and I'm gonna go ahead and click import. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna bring this image in and you can see how when I move my mouse, it's moving with the mouse and it's basically looking for me to place it. So I'm gonna click once on the origin and then I can kind of move my mouse to size this image just like this. So once I've done that, um, so I clicked once and then I clicked a second time to size it, it brings it into my model. And you can see how it's this flat image right now. So um, what we wanna do is we wanna set this as a component to face the camera. And so in order to do that, we're gonna come in here and um, we're going to, first of all, we're gonna explode our image. So you're gonna right click on that and click explode. So now basically what this is, is this is four edges with basically this tree is in here as a texture on this face, just like this. So, I mean, this is just like any other piece of geometry. Like I could come in here and add a square and kind of push pull it and stuff like that. And you can see how you can see through it um, because this is a transparent background right here. So, but I could still push pull it just like this and that kind of thing. So it acts like a general piece of geometry. Well, what we wanna do is we wanna double click on this and we wanna right click and we wanna click make component. And when we do that, that has basically our whole image selected here. And we can call this tree or whatever we want to call it. Um, and you can check this box that says always face camera. And so when you click this always face camera, basically what you're telling SketchUp is that you want this to be a face me component. So go ahead and click create just like this. And you can see how now, no matter how I rotate my camera, this tree always faces my camera just like this. So this is really useful for creating uh, landscape images or a ton of different things that you could come in here and you could create in order to uh, you know, make your model a little bit better. And this is great for a lot of things, um, but one thing that's kind of an issue on this one is right now if I turn on shadows, so you can see how it'll cast a shadow like this, but it'll cast it as kind of a square image. And that's basically because SketchUp doesn't really support the shadows on an image like this. Um, and the transparency. So it's looking at this as a big square face right now. And so it's casting that shadow on the ground. And the other thing is um, you can see how now if I rotate around because I had the shadows face sun option selected in my component um, that my shadow doesn't rotate with my image. And so what I wanna do is I wanna uncheck that. And so um, in order to edit this, what I did is I came over to the component section of my tray, and this is where all the information for the components in your model is located, but you can see how I've got this tree in here. Well, I'm just going to right click on this tree and select properties, and properties is going to let you come in here and change different options and stuff like that. So first of all, I'm going to turn off shadows face sun, but the other thing I'm going to do um, in here is I'm, I'm going to double click inside my component like this. Um, to edit this face. So you can see how when I do that, I have this whole face selected. You can see how it's kind of shaded in here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come in and we're just gonna trace kind of a rough outline around this tree real quick. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then I'll come back and explain why I'm doing that. And you can come in here and you can use, you can use the line tool 
to do this. You could also use like the freeform line tool if you wanted to. Um, I'm just going to use the line tool and just kind of draw this just roughly around my tree. And one thing you want to make sure you do is make sure that everything you draw is actually on this face. So you don't want to accidentally draw something along like the green axis or something like that because it's just not going to work. Um, because you, you basically want to create like a whole new face in here. Um, so you want Sketch up, SketchUp to close off the whole thing. And so in order to do that, you need to make sure that everything you draw is on this face. Alright, so when you come in here and you finish tracing this just like this, and you close this in, you can see how this is going to be in here as kind of its own face. So you can see how I can click on this and it just selects the face on this tree right here. If I click outside of this, then uh, it's going to select this face outside. Once you've kind of traced all of this, what you can do is you can come in here and you can erase the perimeter lines of your object just like this. And the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to move this selection down so that it's sitting on the ground in my group just like this. But now that I've come in here and I've traced the perimeter of this tree, you can see how my shadow is a lot more realistic. So now if I come in here and I mess around with my shadow settings, it actually like looks like a tree shadow. You know, so you can come in here and you can do this. And really the only reason you would do this is if you want to deal with the shadows. Otherwise, everything's transparent. It's not really that big of a deal. Um, you know, the other exception might be if you were like rendering something or something like that. But if you have this and you don't want this, uh, this line that you created to show up, what you can do is you can double click inside your component. And then uh, you can select everything in that comp component and then do a shift click to deselect this face. And then all you have to do is just come in here and right click and hide all of those lines. So you can see how now you've got this component that's all traced out, it's casting the right shadow, it faces your camera, and you can't see the perimeter lines in here. And you could also come in here and you could take this tree and you could like save it somewhere, you could save it on your computer so that you could bring, in, bring it in somewhere else, or you could upload it to the 3D warehouse um, where other people would be able to use it too. Anyway, that's where I'm going to wrap up this video. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Are you doing anything with uh, Face Me components? Uh, I'd love to hear what you're doing with them. Um, but just leave that comment below because I love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. That would just help me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.